It was an exciting fight as Chris Ariola brought the action to Stravern from the very get-go, taking the first few rounds in points. And then it wasn't until the sixth round that Stravern landed some serious right hands to the temple of Chris Ariola and bringing the fight to a stoppage in the sixth round via TKO. Now let's go up to the press conference and hear what these two fighters had to say about this incredible fight. The excitement that uh, came from this fight brought excitement to the heavyweight division. So, you know, that's always good. Don, yep. damn it. I wanted to see you bald, but uh, you're right back there now with the heavyweight champion. But don't forget, you got to be bald. It yeah. wasn't yeah. one-sided. It wasn't one-sided, you know. Now, now Don, what I'm going to do is bring up Chris real quickly, and then you've got the uh, yes, yes. champ thank over you so there. Very much. Okay, I'm going to have Chris say some some words, and thank you again for all coming out. Hold on. Chris. Yeah, I got you. First of all, I want to congratulate Bermain. That was a beautiful right hand once again, man. Shit, I can't get away from that right hand. Um, I felt like I was up in the cards. But uh, once again, I got caught with that right hand. All credit to Bermain. You know, that was the same right hand that broke my nose the last time. And uh, this time he was able to finish it off because uh, it happened early in the round. You know, um, once again, like I was saying, I felt like I was up in the cards. But that's boxing. Boxing, all it takes is one punch to knock somebody out. Especially in the heavyweight division, man. And uh, yeah. beware, hit me with that uh, crushing right hand. Put my ass down and um, I couldn't recover. And once again, all credit goes to Bermain, his camp. Congratulations, champ. That strap looks beautiful around your waist. It wouldn't look better around mine, though. But um, it is what it is. Congratulations, and I hope everybody enjoyed this fight. But we got a Superman here today, and the Superman is fighting for freedom, justice, and equality. So I want to come on up here, the heavyweight champion of the world. The heavyweight champion of the world. The heavyweight champion of the world for all the people, and the women especially, because we got Michelle Patterson here that is working for the women's rights in, uh, next week on this, in the same place here in California. They got a convention. And Bermain and I are going to be at that convention fighting for the inequality of the woman. So he's not just saying, I'm going to do this male chauvinistic and be dominant. No, he is for the people uplifting, up with mobility and elevation. God bless him, our new champion, the Bermain. First and foremost, as a Christian man, now talk to him. Talk to him. I want to thank um, um, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All right, that's all right. Peter didn't do it. Yes. Don't forget, Peter did it three times. He denied it. Don't deny it. And, um, Bring him to the forefront. <clears throat> I want to say praise, praise God, and uh, hallelujah. Um, I want to thank Chris. Um, it sucks, really, because um, um, in this sport, there's always a winner and a loser. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Chris is a good guy because uh, even though I know I don't know him that well, <coughs> I keep hearing um, stuff about him or how he's cool and everything. So, but uh, um, unfortunately, um, um, didn't go well with, for him tonight. Um, I came here uh, with a mission because of the things I've been through in my life. And um, like I said in a press conference, 
I'm not. I, I didn't come here to lose the fight, and nobody would beat me. And um, I did my homework on Chris. I uh, watch Chris. I've been watching Chris all his tapes, and that's all I do. Believe it or not, I've been. In, I've been every time I'm in camp, and I live in Vegas. And everybody that comes to my house. They know I don't have cable. We're ready. I don't want cable. And that's not a lie. I've been in Vegas 10 years. I got friends here, they can tell you. How to? I do, I do not want cable at the house when I'm in camp. And all I do is, what I've been doing since um, last year, before I fought Chris, was watching Chris. Every day. And when it comes to uh, my homework, I think I did my homework by uh, watching um, his mistakes and the way he fights. So uh, what bring, brings me to uh, today, to the fight today, and um, uh, I prevailed because I obviously did my homework. Um, also, uh, I like the team to come here, cause I, I mean, uh, Greg, Vic, House, uh, my brother, Camille, uh, they ought to come here. I mean, for the past, these are the people I've been with for the past six months. We started camp um, December six, and I'm tired of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. You know, um, what can I say? Vic is my my right hand man. Vic is, you know how when you get, I mean, I'm not trying to insult him or nothing like that, but you know how you got a dog and the dog is just um, loyal to you and just, you, you know what I'm saying. This is Vic right here. This is my right hand man right here. You know, that's my pit bull, you know what I'm saying? Charles, come on. Uh, you got Greg. Greg, that's here. My cut man. Uh, from day one, <laughs> when I, um, my first uh, two professional fight, he was in my corner. You know. Uh, of course, you got my my teacher right here. That's uh, Don House. Um, he's the one that teach me uh, everything I know about boxing, and I owe him everything. You know. Um, this is my uh, my mentor, my my teacher, like I said. So uh, thank you is what I could tell him right now for making this happen, and and, and I'm I'm happy because he always told me that he never had a, a a champion that he started from day one. So my gift to you is that title right now. Wow, what an incredible fight. Definitely one of the best in the heavyweight division in the past 10 years. Stavern earlier in the week had predicted a knockout and did so in great fashion. Make sure to keep it here to the Boxing Channel to watch interviews that we have with both fighters. Once again, this is Marcelo Alvarez, and thank you for watching.